Morning, everyone, on Thursday the 16th, and we continue um, our little exploration of the Lord's Prayer, um, thinking we'll probably finish today. We looked yesterday at this um, prayer that God must deliver us from evil and save us from the time of trial. We said that the coming of, of Jesus will not be some warm, cuddly affair, this, this, the, the second coming of Jesus, that is not some warm, cuddly, fuzzy affair. It's going, to be, it's going to be violent, potentially. We don't know the details. We don't know the time. But Scripture seems to use that language, and, and, and I, I believe it. But then we come to the end of the prayer, and it says, um, for yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the splendor, now and forever. And for me, in a wonderful way, that brings us back to the beginning of the prayer, where we talk about um, our Father in heaven, whose name is to be hallowed, who, who lives in a place where the reality of God, the shalom, the peace, the perfection that is God is manifest. And it ends by reminding us of that fact that the kingdom of God, his is the power, the glory and the splendor. And for me, it, it, it's a nice way of wrapping up the prayer because it brings us back to the beginning where we started. It says the prayer is now is now over but it also says to me god and only god is the solution there is no other way and so again it reminds us of why it's important that we you and me must must have a personal intimate relationship with jesus he's not just some vague deity and we go to church when you feel like it the church is the physical manifestation and presence of, of the reign of Christ on earth. And so attending church, whether you agree with everything or not, is not actually the issue. Attending church is of critical importance. Your own relationship with God expressed through that attendance at church. We, we fool ourselves if we think we can call ourselves Christians and we don't meet with other Christians. We really do fool ourselves. But not only must we have that relationship with God, but we need to encourage others to have the relationship with God. We must evangelize because it is only Jesus. He is the way, the truth, the life. There is no other way to the Father except through him. And so, folks, again, the challenge. What is your relationship with God like? Is he foremost, first, and utmost in your life? Do you live your life in a way that seeks to follow him and him alone? Do you encourage others and share that truth with them. Folks, I, 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 I'll be starting to repeat myself if I carry on much further, but I hope you've enjoyed just sharing a little about the Lord's Prayer and, and, and how importantly and seriously we need to take this. May all of what I've shared, and as you yourself read through that prayer and pray it, may it become real in your lives. Folks, we're almost at the weekend again. Have a wonderful time. We'll chat again tomorrow. God bless.